We are not the nuns. We are not the nuns. We are not the nuns. We're not the nuns. Now, I understand that the Pew Foundation did a survey and that if you weren't affiliated with any kind of religious institution, you had the option to check the box that says none. It includes agnostics, atheists, the spiritual but not religious. It includes people who are interfaith and it includes people who are not at all interested in spirituality or the life of the soul. And I understand this is a demographic term and it's helpful to have terms we have to talk about categories and we need to use labels to make sense of our conversations in this world. I get that. But the use of this term, the nun, is actually very hurtful towards religious people because it is zero, goose egg, nothing, void. It's a void and we are not void. There are some major assumptions that are made about the subsection of the nuns that I call the religious, the spiritual but not religious people. The first assumption that's made about us is that we are spiritually lazy. And the argument often goes, because we take a little bit from this religious tradition, a little bit from that spiritual tradition, and we put it all together, that we're lazy because we're being buffet spiritualist and um, just picking stuff off the buffet and putting it onto our plate. Actually, people who practice an eclectic spirituality are not lazy. They are dedicated to the life of the soul and to understanding truth as best as we are able and to living authentically. And you have to learn about all the different religious traditions, try out the different practices, get familiar enough with them that you understand why they're done and where they come from, and then adapt them to be right fit for yourself and your family. That is hard, committed work from people who want to live truthful, authentic, spiritual lives. That is not lazy. The next assumption that's been made a lot about the so-called nuns, especially the spiritual but not religious part of that, is that we are morally weak or morally bankrupt. This is also not the case. A lot of religious people have moved outside of the institutions that they grew up in, the faith of their childhood, because those institutions were not in alignment with their moral core. So I'm not saying that all religious institutions are like this, but a lot of them do not make space for the GLBTQ community and are not interested in equity for those people. They are not interested in equity for women. They often don't have an understanding of social injustice and show very little concern for the plight of the poor in spite of the fact that that is the core of most religious teachings. SBNR people are not morally bankrupt, they're morally faithful in many cases when they remove themselves from being religiously affiliated in order to create a life that allows them to live out their moral core. So these are just two of the many myths that seem to be floating around out there about the so-called nuns. From my pastoral heart to yours, my religious friends, I wanna say that I see you. I see the hard work that you're doing to create a right fit spiritual practice for yourself and your family. I see the hard mental work that you're doing to bring your values and beliefs into the light and into alignment with how you live. I see the hard emotional work that you're doing and the way that you have had to separate yourself from your roots and your tribe when you are not understood and when you are not welcome. And I see the hard societal work that you're doing to carve out a way of being that is not widely accepted perhaps where you live. You're not a nun. You're not empty. You're not a goose egg. You're not void. You are committed. You're spirit filled. You're soulful. You are morally astute. And I am proud of you. I'm so proud of you. I hope that whether you are religious, religious, or some other term of your own choosing, that this week you will go out and you will get curious about the other, that you will trust your gut as you make decisions for your life, and that above all, you will live from a place of love. 
Amen. Amen. Amen.